Hello, hello, world. So in this new series, it's going to be a small kitchen renovation. Probably three or four different parts. This is part one. Right here, you just see the front of the breakfast bar island area. It's super textured walls in this condo. So I'm just going with what I have. Nice little black paint job. Always makes me happy. I like high contrast. Then the problem leads when you go to the other side. So whoever flipped this condo just did a shit rest job. And when you first look at the kitchen cabinets, you think, okay, white, builder basic handles and hinges, till you start actually looking at them up close. And you'll see I have some arrows pointing to just some of the few things and that's just on this little part not the whole rest of the kitchen so i knew i was going to have to come in pull this whole kitchen apart sand down strip fill in holes all of it so that's basically what i started doing uh, take all of the doors off all the hinges off, all the handles off of these doors. Right here you can also see how the frame is split. So at some point I patched that area and sanded that down. Look at this paint. Like, what? see how it's bubbled around the screw? That's how thick they just laid this paint down. But you can pull some of the paint just literally pull it right off of these doors uh they were put in in 1974 that's when the condo was built and its original kitchen to the condo so i just go to town trying to take all of these hinges off you can see right there there's other holes underneath the hinges it was a disaster so I pulled everything outside and just started scraping and stripping and used a heat gun, chisels, scrapers. Uh, I prefer not to use chemical strippers if I don't have to. As you can see, one of the uh, doors is, looks like it's all white. They had just replaced that um, with like a newer one. So once I get everything basically as smooth as I can, I come in and I prime. My favorite personal primer is called Styx. I'll put a link for everything I use down in the description box. Um, I always let it cure 24 hours between coats and I sand between coats. And that's paint and primer. I do that. I'm very excessive but I do truly believe that prep is key for everything the more time you spend the better the finish in the end I've never thought that kitchen redos is a weekend job they're just not they take a lot of steps a lot of time now if you had two people you could probably do a kitchen in I don't know maybe four days but I just take my time. I don't mind. So I primed, sanded with a 220, primed again, sanded with a 220. And like I said, 24 hours between dry time. Then I go in with two to three color coats, depending on the paint that I'm using. Uh, you just end up with a really great finish at the end of the day. And kitchen cabinetry, something you look at every day something you use every day it is a main focal point in the house a lot of the time and it gets a ton of wear kitchens get more wear than any other cabinetry that you have in the house so you want to make sure that you do everything properly and in the right steps so here I went with my first color coat uh, I use Benjamin Moore advanced paint on my kitchen cabinet jobs I just love the way it looks in the end it is a 16 hour cure 
Uh, I do, like I said, pretty much usually let it go 24 hours. I did the first coat outside, then I brought everything inside so that no dust or anything would get into my final coat. You don't top coat this paint. It doesn't need it. It has a really great finish. Then I started on the frame and the boxes and did a little bit of repairs here and there. Uh, I think I had to add a few screws in to a couple places of the frame. Once all that was done, I actually purchased a matte black hinge, same style. So basically I could use all the same holes that were already there, soft close hinges. And I didn't use any handles. One, I just love a no handle look. There are little divots in these drawers for like your fingers. So you don't even have to have handles. Plus, whoever purchases this condo can then put any style they want. This finishes up part one of this kitchen reno. Part two will be the other side of the kitchen and the cabinetry. And then I will also be adding a backsplash and some other things in this kitchen. So I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.